guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. How are you? Welcome to this, this week's yin reading for June the 9th until the 16th. So I'm going to be using um, the Romance Angels, Call It Baron Reed, and the Witch's Tarot uh, for the reading. This is going to be uh, the machine spread. Okay, so let's pull the the cards first then I'll go through the positions so this is going to be um, your present self your past self your future self and I'm going to grab a card from the bottom and I'm using the call berry for the past present and future Okay, and for the uh, energies that are being brought into the past, the future, the present, I'm using the Witch's Tarot. All right, good. So let's begin with the overall energy from the bottom of the deck. We have free yourself. So it's time to take back control of your life. Uh, and we saw this in the Twin Flame reading as well. Getting control, grabbing those reins, um, freeing yourself. And um, I just finished doing the Yang reading and that was also a, th a similar theme. However, there's the sense that he has freed himself. Um, but he's still in the conflict. He's still in this chaos, uh, but he's moving to a calmer state. So that's great. You're both freeing yourself. So your present self is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So um, the feminine self is withdrawing, possibly from the connection um, you know, those romantic feelings have dwindled. So hopefully we can turn that energy around. That was definitely a theme for the month of June. So what is the present position? Soulmates. Unrequited love and soulmates. So this is a twin flame card. There, I don't know. Okay, so there's an imbalance here. You you know who your twin flame is. You love them. You desire them. You want to make make a commitment. You want to get away together. That's what the twin flame reading was about. Um, but those feelings aren't being reciprocated, and that could be vice versa as well. You know. You could be the one withdrawing because that is your energy um, and, you know, your a twin flame may be in the environment and, you know, making romantic gestures, you know, expressing their love. That was the main theme for the twin flame reading. So the past position we have, go the distance. So this is movement forward. This is, you know, seeing the finish line. You're almost there. It's a very... Um, exciting energy but it's also commitment to that long-term goal the past self deception wow synchronicities someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship so you feel that you're being deceived lied to 
again, look at how this feminine energy is risen above the masculine um, is making an effort, but the feminine is cut off emotionally. And that was actually an energy that was coming from the masculine's past too. So check yourself. Make sure you're not the one who is projecting this negative energy. Um, but what I feel here is a movement away from that, you know, that feeling like you're being betrayed into a more positive frame of mind. You, you're still holding on to some fears that you're going to be hurt. Um, but, you know, there's this movement towards soulmate, towards love. Okay, so the future we have serendipity so this feeling of luck the tides turning very strong on the masculine side repeated in his his reading as well and it's being represented now on the feminine side so you know this is good luck coming towards you but it's also serendipity chance meetings you can't plan for you know um you can't plan for the time of meeting your soulmate. It just happens. So your future self, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Awesome. Moving from deception, conflict, negativity into playfulness, childlike freedom, innocence. Shift in perspective. Done deal. Awesome. Proud of you guys. So, the energy you're bringing into the present is the King of Cups. Um, as I was shuffling, I noticed the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And I had a feeling he was going to show up again. So, the King of Cups is the King of Love. Pure, innocent. Uh, love balanced with this mental strength. Um, so the energy you're bringing into the present is a connection possibly with a water sign. Um, this could also be your energy being mal uh, balanced emotionally and mentally. So we'll see what the extended reading says. I'll pull some cards for that. Okay. The energy you're bringing into the future from the present tower, sudden disruption, change. Um, so your, the illusions uh, will come down. Um, anything built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down to make room for new. So there will be something that happens suddenly and it frees you from either the prison of the mind or... Yeah, I would say it's from the prison of the mind because we have that deception card there, right? Feeling deceived. So it's a sudden realization, and then it brings serendipity and playfulness into the mix. It has to do with your soulmate. Um, so what does the future want the present to know? What? Four of Swords is the exact same card that was in the masculine's reading. Same position, same card. Four of Swords. There's still some healing to do. Um, take time to rest, consider, withdraw from negative energy, negative vampires, or, you know, vampire, um, energy vampires, oh my God. Okay, and so what does the past want the present to know? What? The Queen of Pentacles, you guys saw me shuffle. The Queen of Pentacles was the energy that was being brought into the future from the masculine. So the past wants the present to know um, that you are that um, motherly, nurturing energy. The masculine is looking for this energy right now. It was coupled with the Empress card. A must-see. You must see that last video. Uh, so embody this stability be kind be gentle 
create a beautiful home environment um, on the external as well as within. Holy moly, that's amazing. All right, so now I'm going to pull one card from the Osho Zen for the final message. What final messages do you have for the collective yin? Postponement, four swords again. Wow. Source keeps pulling this energy. In the masculine reading, it was the four of cups. So, um, you know, stilling the mind, not listening to those voices. Whereas this card refers to you are free. You can free yourself. And it has to do with perception. So we see that perception change taking place in the future. And then you're in a beautiful, loving state. Oh, God, that's awesome. I'm so fucking happy. So I accidentally opened it right to the Four of Cups. So this was uh, the Masculine's card, right? Um, the Four of Swords. Okay. So the woman in this picture is living in a gray landscape full of unreal cutout clouds. Through the window frame, she can see colors of light and aliveness. And although she would like to move through the frame, as we can see by the rainbow colors appearing in her garment, she can't quite manage to do it. There is still too much what if activity in her mind. Tomorrow never comes, they say, but no matter how often it is said, it seems that most of us tend to forget the truth of it. In fact, the one and only result of postponing things is a dull and depressing feeling of incompletion and stuckness today. The relief and expansiveness you will feel once you put aside all those dithering thoughts that are preventing you from acting now will make you wonder why you ever waited so long. So uh, the masculine and feminine are, are getting similar messages from the universe to put away those negative thoughts. Focus on the positive. Free yourself see the the rainbow colors of life okay so i hope this helped you guys i'm sending massive love your way all right cheers don't forget to like share and subscribe all right welcome back so i'm going to do the same thing that i did with the the masculine energy i went ahead and uh, bookmarked um some of these cards so i will read all the cards like um these cards have little words on them, so I'm going to read them at the end. Uh, and you're just going to have to trust that I, I didn't mess with them. They are very random. Um, and I probably won't do it again, just because of the fact that there is that that question as to whether or not it's authentic. So I'm reassuring you that it is. I haven't looked at the cards. Um, okay, so let's, again, begin with the overall energy for yourself. I'm not going to do a lot of reading here. Um except for maybe the main cards. So, hold on, did I not bookmark it? Probably not. I'm gonna PF. Okay, so this is a card of feeling trapped. You've uh, relinquished your control to someone else. You feel smothered. Um, and you're asked to get in tune with yourself very similar to that energy and you have to commit to taking back control of your life so your feelings will naturally thaw and reawaken and it leads to a greater capacity to love yourself your partner and your experiences okay so yeah um, open up allow those colors those emotions those feelings to come in so your present self was the unrequited love so this is you know feeling like there isn't enough attraction there feeling like you you don't uh, connect with a person um, someone's ghosting you or vice versa there's a cat and mouse game happening. So, you know, the message to this card is that you need to regain balance. Again, take control of your life. 
um, and also to realize that you deserve love. You know, don't compromise. Um, you will find a relationship where there's mutual appreciation and attraction. Okay, so let me pull three cards as clarifiers. Let me just give these a quick shuffle. There is a ton of light on these cards. Why can't I see that? Okay. The Ace of Fire, Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Ace of Fire, Synchronicity, same card showed up in the Masculine's Past position. So there's this activation, this uh, ignition, go light, go time, inspiration. So there was passion ignited in the past. Um, the Six of Pentacles is reciprocation, giving love, receiving love, or not necessarily love, but uh, giving and receiving your energy, um, you know, and also as you give, the universe will bring that back to you as abundance. So you may feel that, you know, there was this great grand idea and um, expectation possibly of this connection in the past and maybe things didn't work out the way that you had hoped you are giving of yourself but that energy isn't being reciprocated uh, and I'm really feeling strongly that you know who your twin flame is but either you're not reaching out or he isn't so there's an imbalance the future position is the four of swords this card has showed up now in three times in the reading. So this is retreat in order to still the mind, still the heart, and heal from conflict. Okay, so your that was your present self. This is the present energy, is soulmates. So this card talks about you will meet or have already met your twin flame. And... You know, there's this deep loving bond there. The connection is real. But one or the other is retreating. Let me just look at the card real quick here. Oopsie. Forty one. Okay, so harmonious partnerships, love, friendships, companions, and relationships fostering personal growth so yeah consider love in the deepest sense love so powerful that you'll never be the same again regardless of how long the relationship lasts consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so that you can finally reclaim who you're meant to be so this love is undeniable you feel that connection you feel that it has opened your heart in the past but you're in a non-trusting phase right now queen or oops, sorry crown chakra wow king of fire and what the knight of earth i shuffled these well i promise you uh same sequence of cards these two um coming from the masculine reading so this was in his future position and um so talked about this passion this power this leadership ability um that is brought to the forefront and then a slowing down as you reach that long-term goal. So I definitely recommend you watching the extended version of the Yang because there's synchronicities happening here. So the crown chakra activation, this connection, the soulmate connection opened you spiritually as well as your heart chakra. There's this uh, divine guidance that's um, pretty strong here in the future. The king of fire could represent a fire sign, but this is um, you feeling passionate and um, on fire in terms of this connection. You also see him as a very powerful um, leader, somebody who's awakened also. Your twin flame, all the twin flame qualities. 
and again, the Knight of Pentacles in the future position, this is somebody who is about to arrive at their long-term goal, their destination. They put, you know, it's been a long journey. They've put a lot of work and effort into um, achieving this goal. So something is going to manifest in the future, right? Serendipity, quite obviously. Your love. Okay, so the past position. So deception. Um, feeling like somebody's betraying you. Feeling like somebody might be wearing a false mask, but... Uh, I'm almost feeling this is the feminine energy holding back, right? We, we felt, we feel that in the twin flame reading, um, you know, she's holding back. She isn't being honest. She isn't fully opening herself up. So you're not disclosing or revealing the truth or vice versa. So deep down, you know what this pertains to. And it also talks about the importance of being genuine with your partner. So although there may be some things you don't really want to discuss because it makes you feel uncomfortable, um, it is important to move through that in order to uh, clear that blockage. Okay, so let's pull the clarifiers. The Seven of Pentacles. 11, 11, and the tower. So the tower is showing up twice in the future, sudden revelation, and it has to do with the twin flame connection. So you feel that there are some, are, uh, you know, illusions around this connection. You feel like you've been waiting a long time, um, but all will be revealed with the tower. So the Seven of Pentacles, gestation period, pregnant pause, waiting for the return, waiting, waiting for the payoff. But it's also, you know, thinking about the past, the future, so you don't make the same mistakes. The 11-11 card. You feel that um, there's a lot of deception and things being hidden regarding this connection. And so the 11-11 card is here to say that... Um, it is a true twin flame connection and you will come to discover a truth in the future. All will be revealed. So the energy from the past is go the distance, right? So this is all about being committed to that long-term goal, um, not letting anything hold you back. So the highlights, endurance, strength, for the long haul. So you're either in or calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time. For better or worse, as you ride the ups and downs and even strains break yourself and are remade in a new growth, you are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. That's awesome. So those illusions, those lies, you know, Everything is coming down and you're breaking free, committing to this long-term goal. And that's why we see the Knight of Pentacles in the future. Very similar, except for this is a very controlled, almost like uh, a chariot. Wow, Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Seven of Swords, similar to the Deception card. Feeling like you're stabbed in the back, feeling you can't trust the Page of Pentacles. Um, sorry, did I say Seven of Pentacles? I meant it's Seven of Swords. The Page of Pentacles is um, committing to that long-term goal. So you're coming out of that deceptive, non-trusting energy into more stable, grounded, considering the future. Now remember that the past wants a present to know the queen of pentacles so this is you know creating a, a safe um, stable home environment so it's an achievement of that page of pentacles so keep working towards that goal don't give up hope don't allow those negative thoughts to um, deter you go the distance 
The Four of Cups is in the future position, so this is somebody who's cut off emotionally. I mentioned the Four of Cups at the beginning of the reading with the masculine got it as an overall energy, right? So quieting those voices. Um, withdrawing emotionally, I see, you know, you're kind of going around in circles regarding this long-term goal, regarding manifesting this connection into the 3D reality. Um, not really going anywhere. Very, very stationary. The confirming cards are very stationary. Um, it's almost like this is the advice to go the distance. And you pick that idea up once again as the Knight of Pentacles. The page and the Knight were important cards in the Twin Flame extended reading. Um, so there is a you know strong synchronicity here. And same thing with the Queen of Cups that keeps showing up um, as the stable force that the masculine is looking for. So let's move into this card then. So the past wants the present to know the Queen of Pentacles. And I, I already kind of looked at the description before. Um, so again, I'm just going to read the highlights. This queen is happiest when she's nurturing others. She is a devoted wife and mother, amusing friend, a generous hostess, and a passionate lover over all rolled into one. Okay, and again, um, when this, this card is often linked with the Empress card, and should that card show up in a reading, um, motherhood is a prime focus. So it speaks of welcoming home, welcoming cozy home, happy families, beloved pets, loyal friends, fun, and affection. So this is what the past is asking you to embody. <clears throat> Not somebody who's cold, who's questioning, who can't trust. Okay, and the King of Cups is somebody who is holding back, who isn't revealing a part of themselves. So again, that could be your energy or it could be the masculines. So let's see what the clarifiers are. The lovers, three of cups, and the ego. So the lovers card, past position, this is passion, desire, um, that ignition, recognizing your twin, twin flame by their soul connection. It is also a longing energy to reconnect with them. Uh, the Three of Cups is, is union, celebrating love and friendship, bonds, unbroken. That coupled with the Queen of Pentacles, it's like you're, you know, remember what the card said, passion, mother, friendship, all in one. Be that love, be that um, open to love the ego you need to overcome the ego any fears any chains holding you back don't let that deceptive energy take hold once again it's almost like they're wearing the same mask eh? so trust your instincts um, believe your heart So the energy that's bringing, being brought into the future, or sorry, the present is the King of Cups. So as I mentioned earlier, this is somebody who is, uh, could possibly be holding back his emotions. So this card represents an individual who is artistic, intuitive, creative, and passionate. There's that passionate word again. Uh, and in the Yang reading, he was passion that was his present energy so he is a good friend a loving and attentive husband and devoted father um, he gives good advice um, when asked and this card could also represent a quiet man who keeps his emotions to himself but who can be moody he is however deeply emotional and he has a tough outer shell to disguise a very soft and loving interior um, he often sees what most people would prefer to be hidden. Okay, so 
yeah, again, there's a sense of wearing a false mask, um, hiding behind this identity, this character, and that illusion is, is coming down. The Knight of Cups, Yin again, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so the, the Knight of Cups is movement forward towards love, gestures of love, wearing your heart on your sleeve. Okay, so this is the energy that's being brought into the present. A desire to connect, reaching out, giving your love to somebody <clears throat> as the yin. You were already embodying this energy, continue to do so. Love no matter what, unconditional. Without expecting anything in return. Because if you do have any expectations, you create that mental prison for yourself, like you feel locked out. So be nurturing, be loving, give no matter what. Right, and that's why you're feeling that unrequited love. You're, you feel um, you're, you're, you feel that things are being reciprocated. So Spirit is asking you to retreat from that energy over and over and over again. Those thoughts are holding you prisoner. So free yourself. Okay, so where are we? Um, we're moving into the future. So let's see what the present is bringing into the future is the tower. Okay, so it says the tower is all about shocking revelations or events that forever change the way you see yourself and other people around you. Again, the tower breaking down those deceptions, those illusions. Okay, so built up pressure um, has finally been released and the fire inside will both cleanse and transform you. So it's shocking secrets revealed and did I not say that all will be revealed you will realize something that will release you from that mental state that mental prison and it opens up uh, and you move into a very beautiful um, place in the future synchronicity that's what the twin flame reading was saying also the alchemist or the magician the five of cups and the two of fire knives. This idea of a door opening in the future is a repeated theme and it's coming because of, uh, you know, needing to purge these, you know, this feeling of loss. The magician in the past, okay, so activation again, um, the magician showed up with the ace of fire in the masculine reading. So you both felt this ignition and so this is focus concentration attention your will on manifesting a new reality so it's like boom you know this crash came in like a bolt of lightning um, you see lightning um, in both of these images the crown chakra also opened in all of these these cards Three major cons. I'm looking at the crown chakra right there. Sudden realization. Oh my God, I get it. Um, I need to release myself from the, this mourning, this pain. I've, I've been keeping myself locked away. I haven't been seeing all the colors of life, the beauty of life. And then you walk through that door, the two of wands, expansion. And that's what this card is about as well, expansion, um, being playful, being open. Okay, so the future, we see serendipity. Okay, so opportunity allied with readiness, the awareness of synchronicity, luck, good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, magical alignment of events. There you go, destiny alignment you can't force a connection it will come when it's ready and here we have it oh my god it's awesome three cards base chakra
karma and the ten of cups so we have bay shock which is a one we have the ten which reduces to one in the future and then karma is an eleven so we have eleven eleven here pay attention to the signs and synchronicities so since um, spirit was showing off a little bit there maybe I should read the entire thing so what number was that 18 so it says spirit I'm just gonna leave that spirit has a plan and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time you have met or about to meet someone vitally important to your journey, someone spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can play, plan this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. There you go. Pay attention. Right? Um, that happily ever after is coming in the future, and it all has to do with your karmic energy, clearing your fears. The base shock of past position is a feeling of um, not having your basic needs met. Right, you can see that unrequited love there. Um, then the karmic card, masculine got this also in the future. Or was it the present? I can't remember. But karma is on your side, both of your side, obviously. Coupled with serendipity, good luck. So the way you handle things in the past will come back to you tenfold. And it's coming back to you as the ten of cups. Like I said, happily ever after, peace, harmony. Okay, so you may have felt that you gave a lot of yourself in the past and you feel like withdrawing from the connection. You feel locked out of it. You feel like maybe you're losing hope. Okay, boom. You realize that it's all been in your mind. It's been the ego whispering in your, your ear. This, these whispers were definitely a theme in the Twin Flame reading. Right, remember the Goblin Forest? Okay, so don't listen to those thoughts. The Four of Swords, rest, rejuvenation, uh, healing yourself. So it's a sign that you need to take some personal downtime, a retreat, a day off, so that you can recoup energy and find your strength again. You may be feeling overwhelmed by the demands of stress. Um, yeah, so step away from a group or a person so that you'll you'll find that solution so three cards page of fire the chariot and the knight of swords um so this is what the present or sorry the future wants the present to know take time to rest recoup because there's major whoop, excitement and energy coming towards you or that will be you the chariot um, showed up a couple times as well on your side in the twin flame reading in the masculine so there will be this accelerated activity in the future the page of fire you know there's a could be great news coming towards you um, remember this is the future wants the present to know that whatever this idea was this epiphany um, will bring you where you need to be it's you know that news that you've been waiting for but unless you're in this negative state of mind you're not going to see those signs and synchronicities the chariot, it, the future is asking you to get control of your life. Take control. Free yourself. Grab those reins. Overcome any challenges standing in your way. It requires free will. Pursue the things that make you happy. You know, pursue that dream. The Knight of Swords, future position, this is movement, action. But it's a very chaotic, scattered energy he's also the champion fights for truth and justice but he's also a communicator sits down um, talks about the big issues so I think the future is saying that rest now because there's going to be um, a lot of exciting activity coming towards you be prepared 
be open to it. Okay, and so the future self is playfulness. Aww. Okay, so the angels are cherubs who embody all things romantic and who have a happy, youthful sense of playfulness. Uh, they delight in the wonders of love. So you need to fall back in love with life is what this card is saying. Um, this card comes with spirit, joy, and adventure. So a theme in the Twin Flame reading um, last week was, you know, to be playful, be childlike and free, innocent. If you want to recapture romance, um, it starts with you, right? You need to feel those romantic feelings, those deep feelings. Uh, but this card also talks about um, making time to play. Put it in your schedule. Playtime is important. This will renew your energy and elevate your mood. And when you do that through the law of attraction, you bring the masculine back towards you. Or you draw them towards you. Um, so except there's nothing that you can do, uh, everything is in the cards. There's definite energy of something coming towards you. We've got two knights and the chariot in the future. Prepare yourself. Three cards. Ten of fire. Strength. Four of pentacles. Ten of fire is the completion and ending to burden, exhaustion, feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Yeah, you do feel that way. Uh, the strength card is creating a beautiful, loving environment, acceptance, taming the beast within. So you tamed those aggressive energies, you put down the burden, and you're playing. Now, Four of Pentacles in the future does not make any sense. So this is somebody who's closed off, unwilling to let you in, uh, vice versa, holding on too tightly to something in the 3D reality. Let me just pull one more card for that. Um, I'll just use this deck here. Just one card, please, Spirit. What do you mean by the Four of Pentacles? Oh, two cards came out. Magician and the Six of Cups. Okay, so the, the uh, Six of Cups is reunion. Somebody from the past coming back. Childhood, previous life. Reunion. Child like innocent free love that you see with the king of cups there that you see with soulmate the magician is that activation in the past control your mind be in awareness of how you're projecting your energy welcome all don't hold negative thoughts of the masculine because you will continue to be stuck. Remember what this card said, you will continue to be stuck. Okay, let me just look at all these little cards here real quick, see if it tells a story. Speed up. So yes, that's what I said. There's momentum building, no doubt about it. Oops, speed up, stay there. Karmic partner, okay, so um, that could be the deception, the ego, maybe you feel this connection is karmic, all right, so yeah, unrequited love, maybe a karmic partner offers um, to reconnect with you and you're just like, no, I, I'm in a soulmate connection, I'm a twin flame, right, They're, Nothing holds the same value for you. Use humor. There's that playfulness again. Have fun. Enjoy life. Do the things that make you happy. Time to observe. Okay, so what I feel with this is that there's nothing you need to do. Source Spirit has a plan for you. Okay, so 
be open to that experience. Commitment, wow, the masculine had this achievement, move, chariot again. Um, it's an illusion. Illusions are coming down. Now it's not a trap. Okay? Things are going to speed up. Um, this could be pointing to the masculine. He's moving away from a karmic partner in his reading. Release your ex. Um, you know, even, you know, when you're dealing with a karmic situation, use humor, like turn it into a fun place, right? Um, don't lash out at people. Time to observe non-action, commit to yourself and to this long-term goal. Um, this may mean you need to move, or I, I feel that it's pointing to all the nights there. There is movement. Also, free yourself. Move out of the, that negative energy. Uh, it's an illusion. You suddenly realize that you've been trapped by the mind, the tower. You're breaking free of that. And you're in the now. You're in this moment. And it's not a trap. You free yourself. Very cool. Very freaking cool. Reflecting the cards perfectly, and that's what happened to the masculine as well. So I could not have predicted what the confirmation cards would be. And so here's Spirit saying, you can trust that I will line everything up the way that it is supposed to be so that you can give um, the collective that clear message, and that's what they did, and I should trust in that. That's awesome. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm pulling a final card from the universe. So I'm using the Call It Baron Reed Enchanted Map. What final messages do you have for the feminine? This one? Deep Freeze. Wow. Put things on hold. There's nothing you need to do. Time to rest. Uh, the masculine got taken a nap in the past position, so that it feels like that m momentum was building on the masculine side to move forward. And I think the message is for you is to, uh, again, um, allow him to come to you. Allow spirit to arrange those synchronistic events. Right? So deep freeze. Everything has its season. Now's the time to put activity on hold while you rest. Again, same message from the universe. Rest, rejuvenation. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not ready to bloom. That's slowing down with the Knight of Pentacles. Awesome. It's time for you for regeneration and hibernation. Forego ambitious activity. A pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate projects to shift and change and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being not going anywhere not needing to this is also time to put all of your arguments on ice nothing beneficial beneficial will come from any of them self-care is most important activity now so reflect read a good book or get a massage rest and dream yeah i can't believe you guys are mirroring each other but it's a a reflection as you rest and reconsider you know move into a state of non-movement the masculine moves forward and vice versa you push he he retreats okay so surrender to source surrender to spirit and and have that positive outlook believe believe that you deserve love and that love is coming to you. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this reading helps. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right. Cheers.